Seven of the country's best and brightest have been honoured at the Sir Peter Blank Leadership Awards in Auckland tonight. But the most prestigious title went to director Sir Peter Jackson for his decades of work in the film industry. Ryan Boswell reports. Hi, I'm Catherine Wilson. I'm Sarah Rob O'Hagan. My name's Therese Walsh. Hi, I'm Matt Watson. Hi, I'm Tim Elp. Hi, I'm Sam Hazardine. From conservation to fashion, medicine to camp vans, they're all leading by example and all recipients of the Sir Peter Blake Leadership Awards. It sounds contrived, but it is humbling because you look at what Sir Peter Blake did and you look at the legacy that he's left behind. It's been 10 years since the Sir Peter Blake Trust was established to help find Kiwi leaders like the legendary yachtsman. The story of what he did as a leader is just so universally inspiring that when you share it with people, it really sort of energises them in a way that you know, they wouldn't otherwise be. Tonight in Auckland, Governor-General Sir Jerry Mataparai hosted the award ceremony where even if you're a winner, it was easy to feel intimidated. To be amongst such incredible New Zealanders to be recognised, so you almost wonder what you're doing here, but, um, <laughs> but it's a really neat, wonderful celebration. It's sort of about inspiration really, about the small country and how amazing it is. The highest accolade, the Blake Medal, went to Sir Peter Jackson. So he's coming up behind you and you're just landing. And... For his outstanding leadership and contribution to tourism, his local Wellington community and of course the film industry. I'm only here tonight because of the efforts of an enormous number of people and uh, I certainly thank everyone that's helped me along the years. The organisers say the winners are all real people leaders who do what good leaders should do, empower others. Ryan Boswell, One News.